Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Armadillo eggs are a cross between my jalapeno poppers, my scotch eggs, which are wrapped in sausage, and my cheese bombers that are wrapped with bacon. And I'll post these recipes at the end of this video and in the description below. So here I've got some jalapeno peppers. And the first thing you want to do is consider the size. An armadillo egg is usually made with the entire pepper which stacks meat out to here. But I'm going to cut these down the middle and make half size armadillo eggs instead. First remove the stem, then the seeds and the membrane. And if you don't have a little corer like I've got here, you can cut these in half first instead, then remove the membrane and seeds. Either way, making a full size or a half armadillo egg, it still makes it a lot easier to fill these with cream cheese when they're cut in half, as well as scratching out the rest of the membrane. Something like this should be perfect. Now here I've got some softened cream cheese, I'm adding some onion powder, some garlic powder, and a few pinches of kosher salt and pepper. Then you just want to get after it and mix it together real good. Now here I've got a few pounds of raw sweet pork sausage. You want to just roll out a few ounces of this and make it oblong and set it on a baggie like I've got here. Helps prevent the mess as you're smashing it flat. And as you peel back the top layer you should have a nice even smooth thin piece of sausage. You're also going to need some thinly sliced bacon. Now you just want to take each jalapeno half and fill them with the cream cheese. A rubber spatula like this one here usually works the best. And if you're still considering using a whole pepper, two matching sides will smash together like this easily. Either way, just take that flat sausage in the palm of your hand Place that jalapeno in the center and fold that sausage all around it. And don't worry about it not being perfect yet. You can work with it and mold it into the shape it needs to be. See? Something like this is perfect. Now all we gotta do is start wrapping it with bacon. And you wanna start on the end and wrap layers. It's gonna take two pieces of bacon, but this will imitate the look of the shell on an armadillo's back. Hence, armadillo eggs. And it doesn't need to look any better than this. What you might want to consider, however, is the coloring. You can wrap these with the fatty side or the meaty side. So you can either wrap it where it's showing more meat, more red color tone, like these here, or you can flip the bacon over and wrap the layers with more fat sides showing instead. It really only matters though if you want them to look a certain way. Now you just want to take them to the oven or the grill if you're barbecuing and you want to cook for 12 to 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then go ahead and pull them out of the oven and give each one of them a quick flip. If you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now take these back to the oven and cook for another 12 to 15 minutes or until the bacon's crispy. Like this. Now if we flip these back over like this, you'll see that we've got even cooked armadillo eggs. And that's important because much like chicken, you don't want to mess with undercooked pork. And these are beautiful. But let's go ahead and cut one of these open for posterity. And there you have it. Armadillo eggs right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.